Ultra Extreme MAGA. What, what is Ultra Extreme MAGA? It means never leaving the house without a red MAGA hat. Eight years going. I change the hat every two months. I never leave the house without a MAGA hat. Why? Because he's an American hero and he's perfectly innocent. Guy's done nothing wrong. What does Ultra Extreme MAGA mean? MAGA 24-7. We're not GOP. We're not Republicans. We're definitely not Democrats. Nowadays, you're either an American or a Democrat, but there's no way to be both. So, uh, and uh, is that an important part of your identity? This is America's identity. This is America's new identity, Ultra MAGA. No, I mean, for you personally, is it an important part of your identity? For the last eight years, yeah. for the last eight years, since the boss came down the escalator, I knew he was the one. He's the only one that could save America. Remember, you're either an American or a Democrat. There's no way to be both. But aren't a lot of Democrats Americans? Used to be. Back but, in the JFK era, sure. But literally, they are Americans. Yes. So this man here is at least able to admit that he's wrong, but, you know... Too many of these people just seem too far gone. Can you believe that some of Trump's White House staff is now w was saying that the election wasn't stolen? Did you see that? I didn't see that part. I'm sorry. Do, do you think that those people should be in Trump's circle anymore at all? People that well, say the election was not stolen? They're being paid from someone. You think so? Absolutely. Who, who do you think is paying Ivanka Trump to say the, the election isn't stolen? Ivanka Trump said that the election wasn't stolen. Well, she's no longer really part of Trump. If he were to lose again, what would that mean for the country in your opinion? You mean if Trump, President Trump was to lose for the first time? He's never lost a presidential election. Well, yeah, I'm he had a historic turnout. 81 million people have never turned out for a presidential election. You, you know, they, I mean, were you up at the, at, on election day? Did you, were you up when they stopped counting, which has never happened before, until they calculated how many fake votes that were trucked in in the middle of the night when they were pounding plywood over the counter windows that are mandated that you have observers and they pounded plywood so the count couldn't be observed? But Trump still got the most votes of all time. That vegetable that was installed in the White House to be Barack Obama's third term couldn't, can't fill a park. Look at these people. That vegetable can't fill a, a, a Walmart. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. I mean, I did vote for Trump. I've, I've never really voted before. Um, to me, it was like always watching WWF wrestling. They pump up this guy, and then he's supposed to win. They pump up that guy. That guy's supposed to win. It's like theatrics in play every single time. I don't care which side it is. They all just go blah, 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 and do whatever it is that they're going to do. So you voted in the last election. Do you accept the results of the last election? <sighs> You know, unfortunately, I'm probably one of those election deniers that the people talk about. But I also wear red, white, and blue, which, according to some people, makes me a... As far as the election goes, yeah, I don't think that the election was done fair and square. I've been watching a lot of information from a lot of people, factual information. Dr. Frank's a great source of information. He's, he started in the beginning pure on accident, kind of like I started my journey on accident. I didn't come out here to try to find all the stuff that I found out. It's just kind of happened as I've gone along. And I mean, what, what, what do I think? What do I know? I mean, gosh, if I talk long enough, just about anybody could think I'm absolutely crazy. My vote was stolen. Okay. It, oh, may I? Uh, okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so me, actually, I will. Okay. When I woke up, okay, after voting, after watching the numbers, and I woke up at five o'clock on November the fourth, okay, when I woke up and I saw those numbers change the way they did in my state of Pennsylvania and across this nation to the point where they had excuses, where they had no reason, no reason in my mind, okay, the, when I went to sleep that evening at 1.32 o'clock, I knew who that president was when I was going to wake up. That's not what happened. My vote was stolen. The Democrats and Republicans both have some real wrongdoers. I'll agree to that. Okay, I have voted both sides. I voted for uh, Barack Obama twice, and I felt duped. Okay, and I know I will never vote Democrat again in my life ever. Okay, and I take that to the bank. Okay, they'll never change. Their color is has been written. The the Communist Party has now taken hold of them, and they are directing them. And people have got to wise up, and they need to do their research. And they need to understand that the, the truth, the real truth is out there. Let's talk about President Biden. How you feel about 
the 2020 election. Do you think he's the legally elected president? He's not my president. <laughs> Explain that to me. He's he's not. He, he's illegal. Um, it's uh, shadow government. He's not my president. Uh, you know, I, I find that compelling uh, for obvious reasons. What, what about, like, so what's the shadow government and how is, is he not your president because he wasn't legally elected or because you didn't want him to be president? He wasn't legally elected. How did he get elected? He didn't. He got selected. And who did, who did the selecting? The swamp. But what about the votes? The, the votes that were, you know, that he had more votes. How, did that matter? Yeah, that mattered. It was done illegally. And did you feel that in Pennsylvania? Yeah. In what way? The 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 ballots, the the you know the the um, in the middle of the night, you know, all that. So you think that meant that he didn't really win because something happened in the middle of the night? Yeah. What do you think? I I believe that there was some sort of fraud going on as far as the election goes. Do you think uh, that President Biden was legitimately elected? No, nor do I believe that he got 81 million votes. No. And, and do, you, do you believe that Donald Trump got more votes than anybody in history on that same day? Or, you know, second most to, to Biden? Uh, yes. So you yes. think all the Trump votes were fine, but the Biden votes were curious? Uh, you know what? Uh, th <laughs> that's uh, that's a. If, you know, I feel like that's sort of loaded. Um, there is an algorithm, okay? I think that there is an algorithm that is being used based off of polling in order to add votes that did not exist, okay? There was a record turnout for voting this in the 2020 election right normally you have just about the same number of people that are going to be voting goes up a little bit each presidential election. right but this uh, but uh this this one to be to 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 spike in the middle of the night is curious to me also all of a sudden there's all of these votes for president biden and uh uh, knowing that the Dominion voting systems were capable of connecting to the internet when they're not supposed to be capable of connecting to the internet and and those fallacies being told uh, that call ca that causes me to be very speculative as to whether or not it was an honest and fair election sir I don't believe in a, the two-party system I believe it's really a uniparty hey, you know the lengths that these people will go to just not admit that they made a mistake or that maybe they saw something in Trump that wasn't there is truly amazing. You know, I just turned 32 a couple of months ago, and uh, these people who will do this type of stuff should be more mature than me. You know, they should have more life experience than me. They'll be like 50, 60 years old talking about, oh, no, my vote was stolen. There's absolutely no way a man like Donald Trump could lose, even though it is a little bit embarrassing to lose uh, re-election as an incumbent, which Joe Biden may mess around and do. So Donald Trump may go into office. But see, here's the thing, right? If Donald Trump wins in 2024, then, you know, of course he wins in 2024 because everybody loves him. But if he loses, it was all a setup. It was, you know, the deep state coming to take this man away because he's such a man of the people. He has such a long track record of just giving to the small guy, giving to the little working man and little working woman. Of course, that's total BS. But again, like I said, the lengths that people will go to not just be like, you know what? I was wrong. Is truly incredible.